Life's complicated. So I kind of wanted to talk about something different. I wanted to talk about the backwards law because life really is complicated. And I find myself always trying to find a formula, find a way to kind of sort it out, to find an answer to, to you know, to understand it. I'm always kind of questioning why and I want to grasp it and I want to know how it works and put it into something set that I can kind of pin down. But like life is just full of paradoxes and things that kind of don't make sense. And when, when I try to understand one thing, it kind of, it makes me realize like, oh, there's this other thing that's contradicting it. Like when you try too hard to do something, it just makes it harder to do that thing because you're trying too hard, you're getting too concentrated on it and you're getting too rigid. And like in soccer, I tried too hard to play well and then I would fail and I would like kind of get too rigid and I wanted to score too much. And like, if you try too hard to get someone to like you, then they're going to be more put off because you're coming off as fake and trying to force something that you're not actually experiencing. You're not actually being honest with it. And I guess this is kind of because I'm a control freak and I like to have control. I like to try and gain control, which is why I think I got into self-improvement because that's a lot about training, uh, gaining control over your life and trying to have direction. But the more I try to control my life and control myself and pin it down to like a schedule, pin it down to something, the more I realize that I don't have control. And <laughs> as I said, I'm always just looking for answers and it just makes things tougher when I'm trying to understand and grasp things that really don't have much meaning or much like that can't be put down to sort of things. It's kind of like this, this feeling and I was just asking why, why I was experiencing these kind of difficulty thing, difficult things. Why was I feeling these bad emotions? Why was I feeling kind of sucky this past week when I was working out really well? I was following my diet really well. I've been creating videos and getting new insights, exposing myself to better content and better ideas and just getting it out there. And I was just looking for a why, like, why was I feeling these sorts of things? And I was trying to, kind of telling myself, scolding myself almost like, oh, you're doing all these things. You, you're making life towards the direction that you want it. You're gaining more control, but you're not actually happy. This is not actually making you happy. This is not actually giving you much contentment. And you should be more grateful for these kind of things because they're going to pay off in the future and all this struggle is going to be worth it. But me trying to do that and trying to question it and trying to find out the source of it was just making it more difficult, making it harder to actually experience those things because I was denying what I was actually feeling and trying to just brush it over and try and, like I've said before, when you numb the bad, you numb the good. And often when you have to try and question things, the, the answer is often in the question or even when you get the answer, there's another 10 questions after that. So like, why is that like that? And another thing I realized, like, if you have to question, question whether you love something or not, then you probably don't love it. And I didn't have to question loving this because I know that I enjoy making these videos, but I, I would question like, do I really want to play soccer? Do I really want to keep creating music? Do I really want to do these sorts of things? Do I really want to see this person? And when you kind of think of it like that, you realize, oh, like if I have to question it, then I probably don't really love it because it's, it's not a, it's not clear. It's not a hell yeah, you know? <laughs> and so what I kind of learned is like Bruce Lee's most famous saying is be water. And this is literally what he's trying to say is that you can't gain control. You can't have <laughs> the harder you try to kind of force things and make things work the more it's kind of get away from you. You know, it's like when you try and hit water and it just splashes and moves away, yet it can erode mountains and it's just malleable and it becomes whatever it, it needs to. And <laughs> water's strong enough, you know, to take down a man, but if you try and take down water, you can't really take down water. And <laughs> so this comes around to this video. I had other video videos planned. I had scripts out. I kind of had practical advice and this sort of thing and I was kind of not feeling it. I was trying to write the script and it just 
something just felt off with me and I realized that if I was going to create this video and keep trying to create content that to get people to like me, to get people to view my content more, to get more subscribes and that sort of thing, that it was just kind of putting people off because people can kind of tell when you're being fake and when you're being inauthentic. And I realized that I just had to accept the feelings that I was feeling at the moment and what I could control and give in to what I was feeling to to transcend that, but to also to incorporate it. <laughs> so I kind of used what I was feeling to kind of motivate me to do, to do this video because I didn't want to do the other videos. It didn't quite feel right. But then when I came up with this topic and I realized, oh, this is what I'm feeling and this is what it's trying to teach me at the moment. I just needed to get it out there. And the more I tried to get um, views and subs and likes and that sort of thing, I was just trying to grow my channel, grow my channel, try and get it to grow more. It kind of was just, it didn't, wasn't really making me happy. It wasn't really making me feeling fulfilled because I wasn't creating the content that I wanted to. I wasn't doing this for the reason that I started it, which was to gain more clarity on my ideas and try and help someone that's been in scenarios that I've been in in the past and to gain more clarity on my philosophy and <laughs> get into better contact with reality and life and just record videos and upload them. But then also when I was trying, to, when I was thinking about it, when I was walking back from work, I was like, oh, so if I'm trying to get views, subs and likes, I'm trying to get people to like me, then and doing that creates people to not like me and, and puts them off, then how about I deliberately act like I don't want views, likes and subs or people to like me and then they'll like me because I'm doing that. <laughs> but then the people could also tell that you're being fake because there's another agenda towards that. And it's kind of like this sneaky kind of paradox that I was talking about before, the harder you try, the further right things kind of get, which is like the backwards law. And it's really funny how things kind of work that way and how simple life can be put down into like these little kind of paradoxes or these little sayings like backwards law or like life's complicated and that sort of thing. But like there's a whole depth to that and trying to go too far into that depth just creates more complexity and more anxiety because I was trying to understand it too much and try and get to the core of it too much rather than just kind of accepting and realizing where I was and using that as yeah okay I kind of got off on a tangent at the end there but I, I think I got across the idea that I want to say life's complicated there's a lot of paradoxes there's a lot of things that are contradictory about life but the backwards law kind of states that if you try less then you'll get the results that you want without actually trying to force them and yeah, I'm thinking about this too much again. I'm thinking about it too much. I'm just going to end the video there because I got across what I wanted to say. Now I'm trying to overcomplicate it and over intellectualize it to get it across to you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. My name's Malin too, by the way. Just by the way.